Welcome to the Mamas of Fit YouTube channel. In this prenatal workout, we're gonna be focusing on strengthening the glute musculature with a lot of internal hip rotation, external hip rotation with the legs coming in and the legs going out. So we're gonna have a full range of motion of the hip musculature to help keep you strong throughout your pregnancy, pain-free, while also helping you to prepare for birth. Hey, my name is Gina. I'm a perinatal fitness trainer and founder of Mama Stay Fit, and I'm currently pregnant with baby number four. And so I wanna walk you through this glute strengthening workout to help you stay strong throughout your pregnancy, pain-free, and then also to help you prepare for birth. But before we dive into the why behind today's workout and the actual workout, I wanna share that my book, Training for Two, is now available for pre-order. Training for Two was all about how you can use prenatal fitness to help support a strong pregnancy with trimester by trimester lifting modifications, in addition to help you stay pain-free with pelvic stability and core exercises, and also help you prepare for birth with pelvic opening and pelvic floor release exercises. Our prenatal workouts have to be more than just a bunch of pregnancy safe exercises. We also want them to help us move through our pregnancy confidently and ultimately help us prepare for birth and recovery in the postpartum. So if you want to check out my book, Training for Two, it comes out September 10th of 2024, and you can check it out in the notes below. For today's 18-minute long lower body workout, we're going to be focusing on strengthening the glute musculature using some lunges, and we're going to hold a weight just on one side to add a little bit of core challenge as well. And so with the lunges, you'll hold the weight on one side, you're going to inhale to step down, and we want to find this internal hip rotation at the bottom. So I'm going to reach forward with my free arm, think belly to thigh. And when I'm reaching forward, finding that internal hip rotation, I'm going to feel more of a stretch in this glute. Key things to think about is at the bottom, I want my knee to stay tracking with my ankle. So I don't want it to cave in and I don't want to roll to the outside of my foot to lower it down. Sometimes when we're finding that internal hip rotation, the knee kind of flails out to keep us in a more neutral position. And so I wanna make sure that that knee is staying stacked and a helpful way to do that is to take weight in that big toe as you lower. We'll exhale to come up. We'll do about 30 seconds on one side and then we'll switch to do 30 seconds on the other side. After that, we're gonna grab onto our mini band and we're gonna do some lateral band walks from side to side. And then we're gonna move into a pelvic floor release exercise. With our pelvic floor release exercise, we're gonna keep the mini band above the thighs and we're gonna find a standing hip shift. So with the standing hip shift, if you want to relax the support leg, that foot is gonna come forward. And then I'm gonna shift into that hip. So I'm rotating my belly towards thigh, my weight is in the big toe of my effort leg, and I'm reaching across my body to rotate. Now, if we wanna add in some effort, that support leg is going to step back and I'm gonna come up onto that toe, still in my hip shifted position, but now that leg is gonna come out. So I have some glute activation, which is gonna help you sink deeper into this hip and pelvic floor release. From the hip shift, we're gonna move straight into our fire hydrants. You can either do it freestanding or place one hand against the wall to give you a little bit of support. The final movement will be a step up march. So we're gonna be strengthening the hip flexor musculature while also adding in some hip rotation. You're gonna start with one foot on the box, arms are gonna reach forward, and then you're gonna hover that foot as you row back with that same arm to rotate your body towards that lifted leg and then lower it down. So in this workout, we're gonna have both internal hip rotation and external hip rotation. In addition to hip abduction and adduction, so legs going out and legs coming back in. So we're gonna be strengthening glute musculature, improving hip stability, in addition to releasing tension within our pelvic floor and strengthening some muscles that are commonly weak throughout pregnancy. If you want more daily workouts like this, be sure to check out our online prenatal fitness programs. We offer our online prenatal fitness programs in an app-based format, in addition to full-length workout videos like this as well. With our app-based format, it's gonna be daily workouts that sync to your current week of pregnancy, and this is going to be a list of exercise with short demo videos, and you work out at your own pace. So this is a great option for somebody that likes to work out at a gym setting and wants to work out with a barbell. 
Our on-demand prenatal fitness program is gonna be really similar to this on-demand video where it's a full length workout video that you work out with at the same time. We have it synced to each trimester in addition to prenatal yoga. And if you're wanting birth prep specific, we also have a birth prep specific on-demand program. The birth prep workouts are already included in our prenatal on-demand fitness program and our prenatal app-based program, so you wouldn't need to grab both. But if you were just looking for something to supplement your workouts, the birth prep program can be a really great option. You can check out all of our prenatal fitness programs on our website at mamastayfit.com and use code YouTube10 to get 10% off. And you can bundle all of our prenatal fitness programs with childbirth education to save an additional 15% off. For this workout, we're gonna need one weight for the lunges and it should be a medium to heavy-ish weight. We're gonna want a mini or glute band for the lateral band walks and hip shifts. And then you're gonna need some sort of elevated surface. We're not gonna actually put any weight into it, so it doesn't need to be a box. It just needs to be something for you to lift your foot away from, plus that long resistance band. Once you've gathered your equipment, let's go ahead and get started with today's workout. Starting round number one with those lunges, holding just one weight on one side. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on one side, and then we're gonna switch and do 30 seconds on the other. And so for this, you're gonna alternate your legs and then we'll switch the weight. So go ahead, inhale, lower down, exhale to come up, and then we're gonna switch the weight. And so my free hand, I'm kind of using to help rotate in my upper body. So I can bring belly to thigh to find that internal hip rotation at the bottom. So as I rotate towards the weighted side, arm is gonna come forward. And then as I rotate away from the weighted side, arm comes back. Go ahead and switch the weight to the opposite shoulder and then begin to step back for your lunges. And same thing, using your free arm to help you rotate in the upper body. Go ahead and place that weight down and now grab onto your mini mat and place it around the thighs. You can bring it to the ankles, which would be a little bit more challenging, but just to make it easier, keep it above the thighs because it'll be easier to transition exercises. So putting weight into your trail foot, begin to step side to side as many times as your space allows you and then go in the opposite direction. Five seconds, we'll switch to our hip shifts. So now I'm gonna put weight into my right leg and I'm gonna shift my weight towards that leg. So I'm rotating in my upper body, reaching forward with that left arm. Now with my left leg, I can either just keep it where it's at just to make it just, it just exist or I can press, step it back and press it out for some glute activation to help me sink in a little bit more. So for relaxing, left foot is just stepping forward a little, allowing me to sink into that right hip. If we're activating, left foot is behind and that knee is driving out. Keeping weight in that right big toe. Five seconds, we're gonna move into the fire hydrants. So put weight into that right leg, exhale, left foot out, inhale back in. If you need to hold onto a wall to give you a little bit of support, feel free to move there. Hold that leg out for like a second and then come back in. Five seconds and we'll switch sides. Woo. Let's go ahead and do the left foot now. So weights in that left foot if we're gonna relax that right leg, right foot steps forward and I'm just shifting into that left hip, rotating belly to thigh, weights in that big left toe. If I'm activating, right foot steps back and then I'm driving that right knee out. 
Keep weight in that left big toe. You should feel a big stretch through that left glute area. This is helping to release tension in that back half of the pelvic floor, helping with your pelvic position to create more space in the lower part of your pelvis. Five seconds, we'll move on to those fire hydrants. Weights in that left foot, exhale, right knee out, inhale, back in. Holding for like a second as you bring it out. Go ahead and remove that band and now grab onto your long resistance band for the step up marches. So I'm not gonna really be putting weight into the foot that's on that box, but my right foot is on the box, my left arm is gonna reach forward and my right arm is gonna come back. And I'm gonna exhale to pull that right hand back as I lift that foot and then inhale to release as I come down. So as I row that band back, I'm kind of rotating a little bit more towards that lifted foot and then bring it back down. Five seconds, we'll switch feet. Go ahead and switch left foot up, rowing back with that left arm. So all the weight is in my right foot right now. I'm just kind of hovering that left foot off. Let's move into round number two to our lunges. So you're gonna grab the weight, just bring it to one side. And then we're gonna step back alternating arms or legs, excuse me. Inhale to lower down, exhale, come on up, and then switch legs. <sighs> Using your free hand to help you rotate in the upper body, so we're bringing belly to thigh at the bottom for that internal hip rotation. And switch sides. Let's put that weight down. Moving on to the lateral band walks. So placing that band above the thighs and then begin to step side to side in your space depending on availability. All right, so now I'm gonna put weight into my right leg to hip shift into it. If I'm just gonna relax the left, left foot will be forward. And then I'm gonna rotate belly towards that right thigh, weight in that big toe on that right foot, reach forward with a left arm. If I want some more activation, left foot steps back and then drive that knee out to turn on that glute. Keeping weight in that right big toe If you're activating in the glute, really drive that left knee out, but keep that right knee stacked over the ankle.
Weight's in that right foot. We're gonna exhale, drive that left knee out, inhale back in. If you wanna use the wall for support, feel free. Otherwise, we can just be freestanding. So press that knee out, hold, and then come back in. Ten seconds, and we'll switch sides. And let's switch. So weights in that left foot. If we're relaxing the right leg, it's going to step forward. And then we're going to rotate to shift into that left hip. So belly towards that left thigh, reaching forward with that right arm, weights in that left big toe. If we want to activate, right foot steps back and then drives out. Every exhale, think like twist a little bit more towards that front thigh, but keep weight in that left big toe. If you're activating in that right hip, keep driving that right knee out. And coming into those fire hydrants, weight in that left foot, right knee and drives out. Using the wall for support if you need it. So go ahead and remove the band and let's move on to those standing marches. So this is a hip flexor strengthening exercise. So I'm gonna bring my right foot on to the box and my right arm is going to row that band back. So I'm gonna press forward with that left arm to help me rotate. Both hands are forward. Exhale, row back as you lift that right foot. Inhale to so come back. As you row back, we're rotating in the upper body bringing belly closer to thigh. Let's go ahead and switch. So left foot up, rowing back with that left arm. Right arm is pressing forward. Let's move into the final round, back to those lunges. So you're gonna hold a weight on one hand, and we're there, we're gonna alternate the legs. And that free arm is gonna swing to help you rotate in your upper body. So inhale, lower down, exhale, come up, and then switch sides. Belly to thigh at the bottom. So the arm swing is helping you to rotate in the upper body to rotate in the hips. Let's switch sides. Go ahead and put that weight down. Grab onto your mini band for the lateral band walks. So band is around the thighs. And then begin to step side to side, one or two in each direction, depending on how much space you have available.
So let's move into that hip shift. So starting with that right leg, if we're relaxing the left leg, left foot steps forward, rotate belly towards thigh, reaching forward with that opposite hand, weight in the right big toe. If left foot is gonna be active, step it back and then drive that left knee out. Keeping weight in that right big toe, pressing that left knee out if you're activating in that glute. Weights in that right foot and then drive that left knee out for the fire hydrants. If you need to hold on to a wall, feel free to get there just to give you a little bit of support. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So now weight is gonna be in that left foot, either foot forward or behind, rotating belly towards side. So I'm reaching forward with that right hand to the outside of that left foot. Weight's in that left big toe. If you're activating, drive the right knee out. The activation of the opposing glute can help you shift into that hip a little bit more. And so hip shifts help to find internal pelvic rotation, which can help to release tension in the back half of your pelvic floor, improve how well your sacrum can move. It's also really important to opening the bottom half of our pelvis. Weight in that left foot, exhale, drive that right knee out, inhale, back in. If you need to use a wall, feel free to go there. Remove the band and we're gonna finish up part A with those standing marches or step up marches, excuse me. So right foot up on the box, holding the band in the hand, both hands in front now. So I'm gonna row back with that right arm and I'm gonna kind of rotate in my upper body. So lift that right foot, row. Get ready to switch, left foot up, row left arm back. I hope that you enjoyed today's prenatal glute strengthening workout. In this workout, we did lunges to help strengthen the glute musculature involving both internal hip rotation and external hip rotation. The internal hip rotation is what is really gonna help with that pelvic stability. Then we moved on to some lateral band work for that hip abduction where the legs are moving further apart, moving into our hip shifts and pelvic floor release so that we can find more of that hip abduction to help release tension within the pelvic floor. And then we finish up the workout with those step up marches to help strengthen the hip flexors and to bring some more upper body to lower body rotation. We hope that you enjoyed this workout. And if you do wanna work out more with us, be sure to check out our online prenatal fitness programs. Again, we offer that app-based program, which is a list of exercise with demo videos. And this is gonna be a self-paced workout that syncs to your current week of pregnancy. This is gonna be a great option for somebody that works out in a gym setting and likes to work out with barbells. 
but we also have full length workout videos like this that we offer with our prenatal on demand programs. We have the fitness version, which is gonna be workouts like this. We also have prenatal yoga. And then if you're looking for birth prep specific workouts and like you already have a workout program and you just wanna supplement your workouts, we also have a birth prep on demand program. You can check out all of our prenatal fitness programs on our website at mamastayfit.com. And again, use code YouTube10 to get 10% off and bundle them with childbirth education to save an additional 15% off. If you enjoyed this workout, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you get notified whenever we release new videos. We release one new workout video every week and then one to two educational videos as well.